Let's face it, we live in a day and age where not only do most Christians have access to multiple translations of the Bible in their language, as well as numerous commentaries and study tools, and even an abundance of Christian literature written over the past 2,000 years, but now we have this ever-increasing volume of podcasts, videos, and other forms of online preaching and teaching designed to help us grow in the knowledge and grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So with all of this Christian content available to us at our fingertips, it does beg the question, why bother going to church? Hello everyone and welcome to another Christianity Engage video. We share the gospel and encourage believers all over the world, and we invite you to subscribe and click the bell to be notified when we release new videos. And if you would like more encouraging content throughout the week, follow us on social media. Many Christians have somewhat of a consumer mentality when it comes to church, and their focus is on themselves. Teach me, encourage me, bless me, pray for me. And while there's absolutely nothing wrong with entering God's presence and going to church with open hands ready to receive, I think one of the more important reasons for continuing to meet together is the opportunity to build up the body and be a blessing to others. Look at all of the verses in the New Testament with the phrase, one another. We simply can't love one another, encourage one another, or serve one another in our living rooms by ourselves. One of the first times we see this phrase in the New Testament is in Romans 12, 5, where the Apostle Paul writes, We who are many are one body in Christ, and individually parts of one another. Friends, the church is not a building. We are the church, and the Bible says we are all one body, the body of Christ. The basic idea is that just like the human body is made up of many different parts with different functions, but they all work together and they're all important. In the same way, the church is made up of many different people with different gifts and abilities, but they're all united by one spirit, and they all have a purpose in building up the body. Think of the body of Christ as a team. You wouldn't compete in a team sport with one person, no matter how talented you were. In the same way, one person can't do all the work required to build up the body. We need evangelists to be our recruiters. We need pastors, teachers, and discipleship leaders to be our coaches. We need people with various administrative abilities to be our management team. And of course, we need a full roster of players, people with different gifts and abilities working together for the mission of the team. Some of you are extremely gifted teachers and we need you to teach. Some of you have an incredible ability to show mercy and compassion when it's needed most. Some of you probably don't realize just how much you encourage the people around you. Some of you give generously. Others serve cheerfully. Some of you have this faith that rises to the occasion and in certain life moments, there's no one else I'd rather have in my corner and on my team praying with me than you. There are many other ways to build up the body which we haven't covered, but my point is this. We can't do this by ourselves. The church needs you, and you need the church. God instituted the church just like he instituted marriage and family. It's part of his design, and it's meant to be a blessing. The Christian life isn't meant to be lived out alone. We need each other for accountability, discipleship, and fellowship. Your team needs you, and you need the team. So whether you attend a big church or a small church, whether you meet in a permanent building, a temporary building, or even a house, whether you gather on Saturday, Sunday, or a weeknight, whether you call it a church, a Bible study, or even a life group, I encourage you to get involved and be a part of the team. And as much as you are able to not neglect our meeting together as some people do, but let us encourage one another and do so all the more until the return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I hope this video is an encouragement and a blessing to you. God bless you all.